Good job. Good job, boy. Good job. Yeah, he found him. And here he is. Yeah, you did. Good job. Good job, boy. You found him all by yourself. Well, hello, good people out there. I hope you had a really good week so far. And apparently we're chosen to be a tester for the dogs today. And we have to go over here. Right here is Kennel. And that is going to be our first Bloodhound purchase. Uh, we'll choose a liver, tan, full coat, and a male. The first one is free. The second one is going to be, I think, like 40,000 or something like that. And let's name our dog. We're going to name him Chance. Because when I was growing up, we used to hunt coyotes a lot and even bear. And one of my dad's dogs was Chance. And that was a really, really smart and a really tough dog. So we'll choose him. And now if we go into purchase, okay, yeah, so 45,000 would be for another dog, but we already have one and that's really all we need right now. But anyways, let's take a look at our first dog here. The first dog ever in Call of the Wild. Here he is. What's going on, Chance? What is going on, boy? <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Anyways, I want to grab a bow and arrow and I want to grab the 243 because so many times when you see a big buck, and you try and sneak up on them. As you take the shot, they're actually turning and you kind of catch them a little bit further back. And when you first start out playing Call of the Wild, this happens all the time. Not only that, sometimes you'll actually get a flesh hit and to find a white-tailed deer that's flesh hit is almost impossible. So here's the 243 and we'll grab the Razorback bow, which I haven't used in probably almost four years. All right, we're all set up. We have the 243, we have the Razorback bow, and we're gonna head out now and try and find some white teal deer. What I wanna try and do is my goal is to try and find some decent white tail bucks, get in bow range, and take kind of a quartering shot where they're actually kind of slightly facing us. And I want to hold right behind the front shoulder so we catch kind of the, the back of the liver or potentially the intestine. Um, if we find a huge buck, then we're definitely using 243, and we're going to hold right behind the front shoulder and go for a nice double lung shot. He's still going to run quite a ways, and that's why we have chance. That took quite a bit longer than I expected, but we finally did find some whitetails out here and we have a buck right out in the middle there. Not a bad sized buck. We got a couple more whitetail over here. Another uh, kind of a smaller buck over there. Anyways, that buck out there is actually a really bad win for us to be able to sneak up on. Um, so I think in this case here, we might try and sneak up on that buck over there and try and take him with the bow. But for now, I want to go for a 300 yard shot on this buck here with the 243 and we should be able to get on the track and hopefully find this buck. All right, boys, sit. Trying to focus. There's our buck out there, 315. Definitely an awesome shot. Let's go over there and go see if we can't find ourselves our first buck down. Come on, Chance. All right, there's the buck that we're trying to get with the bow. He's about 150 out right here. Ooh. He can definitely smell us. So we got to be careful. All right, cool. So he's actually calm now. He's 150 yards out from us, but the buck that we took with the 243 was right over here. So I'm thinking if we get to this location here, we should be able to track down this buck and then sneak up on the other buck and try and take a shot with the bow. Track. All right. Let's see if he can find some blood. We took the shot right about here somewhere. I don't know exactly, but it was pretty much like right here. Look at him go. Look at him go. We never even clicked on the track or the blood or anything and look at him go. Oh, he actually might scare our deer. You know what? I really don't care too much if he does scare the deer. Hopefully he doesn't, but if he does, then that's just what happens. Wow, he's barking pretty loud. So it doesn't seem like he's actually scaring the deer away. We're going prone because I don't want to spook this buck, but he's just walking like no big deal. He keeps on barking and everything and the deer, they're still sitting there. So is he actually walking? Oh no, he's actually stopped 20 yards in front of us. Our deer are about 60 yards away and 60 yards is a pretty good spot. Right there's our buck, 40 yards away, bad angle. Really bad angle, but it's actually a perfect angle for what I wanted to do. That's going to be probably an intestine hit. Oh man, we hit it a little bit too good. How the heck did I hit that? I was even holding far back, but I uh, must have clipped the liver there and he didn't go far at all. Anyways, let's try and take down another one of these as well. 
There's an intestine hit. That doe's gonna run quite a ways. Um, but where's our buck down? Got some blood here. He's barking over here. Oh, hold up. What do we have going on now? I think he might have found something. I definitely see something piled up here. What'd you find there, Chance? What'd you find? What'd you find? Let's take a look and see what it is. It is our buck. That's our buck with our 243. We took him at 300 yards and he ran probably like 150 yards. Good job. Good job, boy. Good job. Yeah, he found him. And here he is. Yeah, you did. Good job. Good job, boy. You found him all by yourself. And ended up pulling off a left lung stomach shot with the 243 at 300 yards out. And he ran, I don't know, like 150 yards probably. So it was actually very difficult to find him because he ran in this thick grass here and we couldn't find him. I actually couldn't even see any blood until all of a sudden he started barking. I started walking that direction and he led us right to this buck. We got some good cover here. So if I can pull out the bleat, because I kind of forgot the grunt. But either way, he's right there at about 70 yards out and he's quartering directly at us. So I kind of don't mind that angle. Even if we got a single lung, it's not really going to be very effective. So let's try and do something once. I want to try and zero in for 60. And we're going to see exactly how far he is. He's 70. So if I hold for kind of the top of the shoulder for 60, we should compensate pretty good for that drop. And we should be able to catch at least a single lung. Okay. We got a good hit into him. So hopefully he doesn't just pile up right away. I'm shooting too good. How the heck did I hit that? So good. Must have caught lung and liver. And there's the other buck that piled up before. <laughs> kind of the same thing happened. I hit him too good. Um, Actually, a left lung shot and he... Yeah, he didn't go very far because uh, we only hit him in the left lung and he ran like 15 yards. So we basically need to get a pure intestine hit, which we did get on that one doe. Anyways, yeah, you did a good job, boy. Actually, that's a really cool picture right there. Come on, turn your head. Don't look at me. There we go. That's a cool picture. Good job, Chance. Yeah, good job. Really good job. All right, enough pictures. I can't pet him for some reason. I don't know why I can't, but let's pick up this buck. Ended up getting a left lung shot. I honestly don't know how the heck we hit a left lung shot on that angle right there. I mean, probably the worst angle possible for any archery hunter to take. And we still somehow caught the left lung at 45 yards out, even with the Razorback. <laughs> I thought for sure it was either gonna be a flesh hit or intestine and well, I guess we'll have to try it again. Scat found. Oh, the dog can find scat? Okay, I know for sure we made either an intestine or a flesh hit on that one doe. And that's kind of what I'm hoping that he can find. Although it's not too interesting for him to track down a doe, but still. In fact, he found some blood right here. Let's check. That's actually a no organs hit. So that's kind of perfect for what I was looking for. Now I want to see how he does on this track. Got some more blood there. He's barking. What'd you find? Apparently he just randomly barks. Apparently. More blood here. Go get him, boy. Go get him, boy. You're tired. You're tired. Oh, he's tired. Now, this is some really thick vegetation here. It is very dense, lots of grass, and super woodsy here. So you can easily see how it'd be very difficult to find a deer that ran off this direction. What do you got? Got some blood here. Look at that. He's actually doing a really good job. Still trying to find that not such a great shot hit on that doe, but that was kind of the point. <laughs> All right, so we've been tracking him for about 15 minutes now and not one single time did I actually pick up a track to find what direction he's heading or she's heading. This whole time, we're basically going off of what Chance's reaction is and whatever direction he goes, we're going. Look at this, look at this. What'd you find? What'd you find, boy? Good job. Atta boy. You found her. Look at that. Hardly any blood. We're tracking like pin drops of blood here. And Chance led us right to this big old doe. And there she lays right there. There she lays. Good job. Good job, boy. 
Good job. See, I kind of wish I could pet him right now, but I can't. I can praise him, but... Do I have to stand up? Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Hmm. There we go. Okay, let's play. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Atta boy. Good boy. Oh, he's worn out now. Good boy. He's tired. He's been hunting hard. He's had a really long day today. Good boy. Atta boy. You did really good today. Really proud of you. Let's grab our dough and see where we hit. Actually pulled off a flesh hit. Just missed the back of the intestine. But honestly, even with an intestine hit right now, it seems like the whitetail aren't really going that far. But this was a perfect example here. This doe ran 320 yards. Chance found her track. Never lost it one single time. We tracked her for almost 150 yards up through the thickest woods and the grass. And he found her right up on top of this mountain ridge here. Another thing that's really cool about this dog is unlike the Hunter Classic where when you fast travel, the dog actually kind of disappears and you have to get a new dog. Here, the dog stays with you. So right now we're at the Baumann Outpost. We'll fast travel to the Runchi Outpost and he'll be right there. All right, we just landed and there is Chance right there. What's up, boy? Welcome back, man. I haven't seen you for a while, but how the heck did you get here so fast? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> How the heck did you get here so fast? Anyways, let's get back out here and see if we can't find a nice whitetail buck here, Chance. So we just took kind of a front shoulder shot on that one buck there, and I want to see if Chance can find this buck. I found some blood right here, and I don't see any sign of this buck anywhere. So I'm thinking that he probably ran... Ooh. Not a bad sized bear. Now that could be interesting to track. Bear run quite a ways. But anyways, I want to see if Chance can't figure out where this buck went. And Chance is onto the blood. Where are you going? Got some more blood here. No, look at this. Look at that. He circled right back around and found our buck. <laughs> he, just, he just nudged it. He just nudged it and it's like floating out there now. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that. Chance is like, what the heck are you having me do right now? <laughs> oh, look at that. You found him. You found him, boy. Good job. Good job. Another deer down. Good job. You definitely found this one 100% on your own. Not only that, it looked like he was running back this way. I, If I had to guess, I would have put all my money to say that that buck would have ran off this way. But I would have been 100% wrong because he actually looped back and ran over here and Chance figured that out and found this buck. Let's pick up your buck. Yeah, he's your buck. He's all your buck. Definitely not mine. Um, Yeah, that's kind of a... I honestly have no clue how he busted through that shoulder blade. Honestly, in real life, you took that shot, you'd probably hit that shoulder blade and I don't even think you would get that deer. 100 yards away if you hit the front shoulder with 243. Good luck with that. Jeez, is this a land of tiny bucks or something or what? There we go. There we go. Finally, a somewhat decent buck. And actually, holy whitetail. Oh, that is one massive herd of whitetails out there. And that buck is a pretty decent buck. That buck right there is definitely the one that we want to try and get. Now, that's kind of cool. If you look at the map here, it actually shows two different icons. This is us. We're the big one, and the small one is our dog. So it's like we kind of have a GPS tracker on our dog. We can see where he's at at all times. All right, so let's get this dog to heal, or at least lay down, while we uh, put the sneak on this nice buck. That's not a bad angle. It's just, it's a little bit too good of an angle. Normally, I'd be pretty happy with that, but right now, I really do not want to hit the intestine. But he's right there at 50. What I could try and do is actually call him a little bit and see if he steps out. Got an awesome little pocket right here, I'll tell you that. And if you look at our map here, you can see Chance is being a really good boy and he's laying down 35 yards away from us here. But our whitetail buck is about 60 right there. So we've got to try and figure this out. That's the buck that we want right there. And this doe is kind of blocking our shot. Um, it doesn't really seem like the bleed is actually working at this point. Wow, I'm 100% uh, wrong on that. <laughs> Anyways, there's our buck right there. 40 yards out. Let's get on him. There's our buck. 
There's our buck. Turn, turn, turn. Too good of an angle. That didn't exactly go how I planned because normally if we were hunting that would have been awesome and we could have taken like a lung or a liver shot but in this case here we do not want a lung or a liver shot anyways here comes our buck again for the second time right there and he should actually come back out here to maybe like 40 or 50 yards again and give us a nice shot this time I'll be zeroed in for yeah 40 yards should be good the doe is about like 40 yards okay so they're actually going to come to roughly 40 yards out which is kind of perfect, but there's our buck right there. Of course, he's going to go right into the thick brush, isn't he? Hold on. There's a doe right there. And the buck should be following her, so the buck should step out right next to her. And sure enough, here he comes. There's our buck right there, 35 yards away. All we got to do now, get him to turn broadside and take the shot. Come on, Buck. Turn around. Turn around. Yes! Perfect shot! I mean, not really, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, we didn't hit the liver or the intestine, and that's what I was trying to do. All right, we'll give him a little bit of time to go bed down, and then we're going to call up Max to come help us. Come on, boy. Ooh, such a rush. You get a big buck hit, you don't know how good you hit it. And uh, you gotta give him plenty of time to go bed down before you start tracking him. But in this case here, we got Chance. Did I call him Max? My, uh, well, my old dog was Max. I've had a couple dogs. I've had three yellow labs, I've had two portal pointers, and two beagles. And like three hound dogs. So, all right, we waited about 15 minutes now, and that should be plenty enough time for our nice white tail to go down. Let's get over here and put Chance on the track and see if we can't find ourselves our nice white tail buck. We actually got some blood right here, but I'm not going to pick up the track. And I think the last thing that we spotted was actually the doe that ran past when I was talking to you about the dogs. But anyways, let's get him on the track here directly, and let's see if we can't find this nice buck. Well, let's see if Chance can't find the buck. Good dog. Good boy. He's already on the blood. Looks like he's heading to the north end up here. Now look how difficult it's going to be to find this blood. Right there is some blood. You can just barely see it. Pretty thick up in here too. I already lost blood. I don't even see any more blood at this point. The only thing we're doing now is... Oh, right there is some blood. But I was going to say, the only thing we're doing is basically going off of chance reaction. Where is he going, boy? Looks like a track right there, maybe? Yeah, definitely a whitetail track. Can barely see that, but... And again, barely any blood. So you can imagine... Look at this. What a great dog. Good boy, Chance. <laughs> he led us right to him. Look at that. He's just standing there. All proud as can be. Good boy. Good boy. Come over here. Come over. You got your big buck right here. You gotta get in the picture, Chance. Oh, that looks pretty cool like that. Hey, out of boy. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. You found this buck. Yeah, you did. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. And once he gets right there, we'll tell him to sit. Sit. Good boy. Out of boy. Out of boy. All right. That's going to make for a pretty cool picture. Good boy. You did a good job today, Chance. I'm proud of you. You found a couple of nice whitetail bucks today, and this is definitely the biggest one of the day. Let's pick him up and ended up pulling off a spinal cord shot. <laughs> we hit him in the tail. <laughs> and I would say he ran maybe like 300 yards, but Chance led us right to him and found ourselves our nice whitetail buck down. A 173 whitetail. 
Anyways, on that note, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoy the dogs. I am definitely looking forward to when they fully release on March 30th, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Not only that, he literally is like your sidekick, so wherever you go, he goes, and he's always just as happy as can be to be there. Such a great dog, and I am so happy that they're here finally. Anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.